Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and played back on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I'm Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome back. Now let's get right on this week's email. And this one comes in from Alex from London. And Alex says, thanks so much for making the yoga so much more accessible. Well, thanks for watching. And Alex says, can you focus on a sequence of poses that helps to relieve tension, headaches, headaches, you know, those problems you get with headaches. And of course, my answer is always is yes, because I don't want to cause another headache by not being able to bring it to you. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in today's class, Yoga for Tension Headaches, a series of poses that are very beneficial for all of us. And again, if you don't have a headache, it's something that you can remember down the road to do. Or if you don't, you know, have a headache, it's just yoga. We can just enjoy it. So that's what we're going to focus on in today's class. So like Alex, if you have an idea, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can always find me in Facebook, YouTube, and in Twitter. And remember, if you're looking for past episodes, please go to the Yoga Amazing Archive or become a subscriber to Yoga Amazing 24-7. Hope to see you there real soon. And remember, as we go through today's class, to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. From here, let's open it up and bring it into Child's Pose. Stretch it out, opening your knees and dropping your forehead to the floor. Taking the first few moments of class to focus on your breathing, our Ujjayi breathing, big inhales, big exhales, just hang out here with it. Remember as we take the first few minutes of class, just breathe. Just allow your body to open through the breath. Remember inhaling deeply through the nose, hollowing the throat, expanding the chest and lungs. Then as you exhale back through the throat, through the nose, just breathe deep and slowly. And slowly release and bring yourself up to sitting on your heels. Now, if it, if it hurts for you to sit on your heels, by all means, you can roll up a blanket and put it right here and that, that can help your situation because I know some people uh, in those areas it, it hurts. If you can do it though, that's even better. Uh, what we're going to focus on here is we're going to do some neck stretches, we're going to do some work into the shoulders, very basic postures that you can you know, do practically anywhere. Even You, you can be sitting in a chair for, for several of these actually. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to be doing some neck stretches. So from here sit up nice and straight, roll the shoulder blades down the back and then I just want you to drop your chin to your chest and you're going to feel that nice stretch against the back of the neck. Just relax here, breathe. And roll your head to the right. Get that stretch on the left side of the neck. And roll your chin down and then roll it to the other side. Nice long stretch here, feeling it on your right side. Feeling all that tension, just breathing into it, letting it go. And again, 
again dropping the chin to the chest and then taking the head back. Getting a stretch on the front of the neck. And then rolling it, roll your head in a circle motion. Crunching sound in your necks, in your muscle, in your bones. And then turn your head, roll it the other way. And then bring your head up. Stay here for a few moments. Breathe. Now, if you want to hold those poses longer or do it on your own, you know what to do now. So just do those if you desire at some other point. And then from here, I want you to take your arms out, crossing your arms right over the left, and then you're gonna bend, twist, lift to start, and then pull down, separating the shoulder blades. People always ask, this, uh, what's a good pose to do for the shoulder blades? Well, this is the best one that I can think of. Stay here and breathe. Releasing, bring the arms up and rotating it left over the right as you lift up, then pull down. And then release, bring the arms up and then releasing the hands back into prayer position. Stay here and breathe. Now from here, you're gonna stay in a seated position and we're just gonna walk it back a little bit. You can use your fingertips if you want. And you're gonna lift into the heart, drop the head, get a nice big heart open in here. Stay here and breathe. forward into child's pose. And then slowly bringing it up. And from here, let's bring it into a tabletop position for the cat and cow pose. Shoulders over the rings of the wrist, knees are hips width apart. And then we're gonna inhale, look up, spread the sits bones, draw the shoulder blades down the back. And then as you exhale, round tuck and squeeze, round that butt like a cat. And again, inhale, looking up. And exhale, round tuck and squeeze. Now set your own pace, follow your breath, move with the breath, listen to your body. Nice and slow rhythm. center and again take it back into child's pose. Then 
and slowly bringing it up. Now, from here, we're gonna work on some uh, alternate nose breathing. We've done this before in the past, so it's gonna just help us uh, with some of these issues that we've been talking about, uh, with headaches and tension headaches, to relieve that. So from here, uh, you're gonna take your, uh, let's just keep it simple. You're gonna take your uh, index finger and your ring finger to your left nostril, and then you're gonna use your um, thumb and close that off onto your right nostril when we do so. But for now, ring finger and pinky finger to your nostril. Now we're gonna inhale through the right, closing your eyes. And then a pinch and hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. And exhale through the right. Now from here, take your hands on your legs, palms up, just close your eyes here and take a few moments and breathe. And then I want you to just sit down on your bottom, crisscross your legs. A nice little twisting pose here. Remember, as you inhale and exhale, we're gonna go deeper into the twist. So hand into the knee, the other hand behind you, big inhale. And as you exhale, twist looking over the shoulder. Remember, as you inhale, you lengthen. And as you exhale, you twist deeper. Release. Crisscross your legs the other way. Same thing, we're gonna twist and look over the shoulder. So inhale, and as you exhale, twist and deepen. Remember, big inhales, big exhales, twist and go little, little bit by little bit, deeper and deeper. And then slowly release. 
Now, from here, I've got a belt close by because uh, I'm just gonna do it this way for a day. But we're gonna do legs up the wall. Now, if you're familiar with legs up the wall, you can just put your bottom up against the wall and put your legs up it. But since I'm in the middle of the room, I'm just gonna use my belt. And you can do that as well. If you have a belt or a towel or something close by, you can do that. But I recommend that you um, use the, the wall and just make it easier. So from here, just back your bottom up against the wall. And we're gonna stay here for just a few moments, just a little bit, and then we're gonna rest. So remember, imagine that there is a wall that my bottom is up against, and then I'm just gonna put my legs up it, like this. So this is what your legs would look like if they were up against the wall, but if you have a belt and you wanna do it this way, that's fine too. I just choose to do it this way because I think it gives you a better visual of, of how the legs should be up the wall. But uh, your arms will be by your side if you are, your bottom is against the wall and your arms are just relaxing. Again, I'm using the belt. I'm actually getting a nice little stretch on my hamstrings as an extra, which is a nice bonus for me because I have tight hamstrings. And you may choose to do it this way yourself. Whichever way works for you works for me. So just stay here and relax for just a bit. Just breathe. And then slowly roll off the wall and then bring yourself back to your mat or wherever you are. And you're gonna squeeze your legs in, give yourself a great big hug, forehead to the knees. And then arms to a T and roll the right, look to the left. And roll the left, look to the right. And bring it back to the center, one more big hug, squeeze it in. One more big hug, squeeze it in. And then from here, stretch out on the floor, go to Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms up, and just relax here. Give yourself these next few minutes just to completely surrender and just allow your body to soak in. And hopefully your tension in your body will be releasing so the headache will go away. Give yourself these next few minutes to just relax. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.